Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. It's time to wake up. It's time to assume your God-given position in this earth. That's right. And it's not niggas, it's not thoughts. It's not the lowest. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So, we're talking about a stubborn and a strong animal. They're hardworking. They're not very bright. But it's something to be admired about this stubborn and this strong, hard-working animal. Read. But Israel... Who? But Israel... You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians... Do not know. My people do not consider. Before y'all walked up here today, y'all didn't even consider that y'all was the true Jews of the Bible. Y'all didn't even think of that. Y'all ain't consider it. The Lord said the Israelites won't even consider who their homeland or where their homeland is or who their God is. You see that? Give me Jeremiah 17. They're not convinced yet. Sister, what is your uh, nationality? I'm sorry? African. African, African. Who told you that? Where from in Africa? Because Africa is a continent. America is a country. Where from Africa are you? Really don't know. Why is that? Why, if I ask 10 of my people their nationality, they give me 10 different answers. Do you know it was orchestrated and designed that way? You got that flyer? God is one of the reasons why we don't understand who we truly are. You know we are a royal nation, kings, priests, princesses. That's who we are. You look at us and say, well, how? Look at the conditions we're in. That's a symptom of us not keeping our God's commandments. Us rebelling against him, doing what we want to do. Doing what we've seen everybody else doing and not taking heed to the love that the Father was trying to give us. Read it up. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. What does discontinue mean? Stop. Stop. What, is, what does it mean to discontinue? To stop. To stop. What is a heritage? Because he said you, even yourself, will discontinue from your heritage. What does that mean? What is a heritage? Well, well, I feel like it's a family lineage. Family lineage? Those are all great answers. Those are all good answers. Yes, the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. Knowledge, right? And the law. The law, the laws of God. Do we know how to keep the laws of God today? Truthfully speaking. Where do we learn the laws of God at? In the Bible. How about the church? We, sh we should learn it from the church, right? They're not teaching, right? Let's keep going. Read. And the law of life for inheritance. Is that it? The law of life for inheritance. In order to live, guess what we've done? In order to, to, to live, we were given an order on how to live. We're not living right now. As contrary to popular belief, this is not life. This is actually hell. What? We shouldn't die at the rates that we die. Our people shouldn't emulate the other nations to feel a special, something special about themselves. Your hair color, does it naturally grow blonde, red, or black? Black. Do you see how people dye in their hair to turn another color? Why do they do that? Why is that? Because they hate what's naturally theirs. We hated our heritage. We hated our laws. Our God looks like us. Did you know that? Did you know our God looks like us? You know a lot, brother. How come you ain't over here with us? How, how come, so you know something, how come y'all ain't over here with us? She, on her shirt it says, why y'all trying to test the Jesus in me? You know something about Christ. Why you ain't over here with us? You tired? Yeah, I just got out of work. 
Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. Now, um, is that a sweet smell? That should be stink. What's that, Isaiah 3? Give me that in Isaiah 3. The Lord want to give you knowledge. He want to give you laws, and it's going to make your life easier. You ever had a razor bump before? How do you get razor bumps? Do you still get them today? Because you don't shave. The Lord said don't shave. And you get them razor bumps, right? Now, I'm going to get y'all something. I'm going to give y'all something that's going to help y'all live, right? What's a yeast infection? What is that? How do you get a yeast infection? Bacterial? Germs? I'm sorry, say it again. Putting on underclothes. Color underclothes. All right, let's read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of a, instead of well-set hair, boldness. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Read it again. And it shall come to pass. The Lord has given us a future prophecy, something that's going to happen to our sisters. Read. That instead of sweet smell, because our sisters took pride in the way they smelled, they used to do challenges to where they bathed for six months, six months straight in certain particular type of oils. And then in another six months before they present themselves before the man that they were married, they would bathe in another type of oil so that they can be smelling good inside and out. So that they go through their pores and when they sweat it comes out their pores smelling good. Our people don't use that type of bath therapy anymore. Right? Read. That instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Why you think there's a stink? What the stink come from? Where's the stink coming from? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22. This is where the stink is coming from. Because our people are not abiding by the law of God, and they're abiding by the laws of this land instead of our God. This is what's happening. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. My brother with the Just Do It shirt, how you doing, man? All right. I want to acknowledge you, make sure you know that I know you standing there. <laughs> how you doing, man? What's your name? Terrence. Terrence? Yeah. You ever heard that you're an Israelite before? I heard it before. You heard it before? Yeah. Good. I want you to continue to listen. What did this just say about a man wearing women's clothing? Sure. Did that happen today? Yeah. You shouldn't. Yeah. It also said that the women shouldn't wear men's clothing. Right. What are some items of clothing that are designed for men that sisters wear? Pants. Hmm. Why do you think that the woman having an orifice, which is a self-cleaning mechanism, why do you think it needs to discharge? To clean, to clean right? To clean. If you cover that up with tight panties, with tight pants, where's the breathing coming in at? You know that oxygen in the air helps. It helps. But if you keep it closed up, you're gonna get that stink. You're gonna get that yeast infection. Now you gotta go buy Monistat 7, Fimstat, if they still sell them things or whatever. I don't know, my wife, she wear dresses. So I don't know. I remember a long time ago, my mom used to have to do those things. She wore pants. The Lord's trying to take you away from the different things that you're experiencing and all you have to do is just listen to him period let's go back to isaiah 3 let's get some more on that and in, that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink and instead of a girdle a rent instead of a girdle or a tight stomacher because our sisters knew how to dress they had doll themselves up he said instead of a girdle or what a rent our sister dress any old type of way. Can't even fit in the clothes that they putting on. They flopping all out the clothes. The Lord telling us that we're gonna look a certain type of way compared to what we used to look. This was a warning. Bring it out. Now you're hearing the warning after it happened. Now you must do something. You must change. Read. And instead of well set hair. Instead of well set hair, our sisters do what to their hair? Put weave in it. Perm. Cut it. 
Their hair is what to them? A lot of them. If they hair ain't right, a lot of them can't do what? They can't go outside. They get their hair done, they tell their boyfriend, don't touch my hair. Don't you mess with my hair. They get, they go to the, they go to, a, God forbid, a beach. They won't go in the water. They'll put their head above the water, but they don't want to mess their hair up. Why? Because they focus on their external beauty. That's exactly how they sleep. You see it? Do it again. That's exactly how they sleep. Or like this. That's an idol. And the Lord know our people. Read that one more time. And instead of well set hair, because there's nothing wrong with your appearance. There's nothing wrong with setting your hair to look a certain way. But our people today in this society has made that their God. Read. Boldness. And instead of a stomacher. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We used to have long flowing hair, the Bible said. But now our sisters suffer baldness. They suffer patches going out their hair. They suffer because of chemicals. Mm. What other race of people do you know suffering with their edges gone? With their edges put all the way back. What nations are suffering that? Because they put bleach in their hair, color in their hair, braids so tight that it keeps pulling their they hair out. Who else go through that? White people don't go through that. Yes, our people, the Lord talking about y'all, sister. He's trying to help y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We're going to go through some of the curses. Because we didn't want to keep God's commandment, the Lord said he's going to put us in his lower state. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. You hear that? La brother, we showing our people what the Lord actually requires. My brother with the hat. We showing our people what the Lord requires. You got five minutes. We showing our people what the Lord requires. He said you have to hearken. What does it mean to hearken? Listen, y'all smart. Y'all very smart. Read. The voice of the Lord thy God. Listen to the voice of God. To observe, to do all his commandments. To learn. To learn his commandments. Learn what his commandments are and do them. Today, we told y'all, y'all shouldn't wear pants. Because that's a law. Not because that's something I feel. Because I don't want to see y'all in pants. No, I want to see y'all in y'all dress. I want to see y'all as royalty. I want to see you with your fringes on. I want to see you like a man. I don't want to see you as a little boy or as the nigga that this man created. I don't want to see y'all as the thought or the jump offs that this belief created. I don't want to see y'all as that. I don't want to see y'all as the baby mamas. I don't want to see y'all as the ex junkies. I don't want to see y'all as the future junkies. I don't want to see y'all as none of that. I want to see y'all as the royalty that you are because I see you are royalty. Yes. Do you believe you're royalty? Do you believe your royalty? Sister, do you believe your royalty? You know the name Israel means a prince that has power with God? Everybody on the earth ain't got power with God. What? We telling y'all right here, right now, where your power lies. This is your power. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses Slavery was a curse. That's a bad thing. The Lord said, if you don't listen to me, curses are going to happen to the children of Israel. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It's going to get you. It's going to reach you. It don't matter how old you are. It don't matter where you go in the earth. It's going to follow you, the Lord said. Little brother, how old are you? 14? 13? 16? Listen at this. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken, verse 16, cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. You hear that? It don't matter where you go. You in the city or you in the field. You in a rural country or an advanced country. The curses of God is going to follow our people. You know how that's true? Go to New York. You ever seen any videos or movies about New York? Go to any city that we populate. What's the condition of our people? Bring it up. Is there a place that you can go in the world and see that our people doing amazingly great though for the majority of, of, of the people? Not just one, 
not just your basketball players, but I'm talking about you, me, everybody in that particular city. You can't find it. Can you? Have you ever found that place? You? How about you, sister? Why is it that in every city that we go to, we're on the bottom? Why is that? Keeping the commandments. That's the key point. We have to keep the commandments. We're going to drill it in all day. Keep the commandments. Because that's what the Lord wants us to hear. Well, that's what the Lord wants us to do. Read. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So it said in 16, you're going to be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Who's the last one hired and the first one fired? When you're going for a job, how many of us are hired first and foremost? We're lucky to be hired at them top paying jobs. The only way we really get hired is because of affirmative action or there's a quota that the company must fill because of tax incentives. Or you know somebody, right? We always scrambling for the low paying jobs. We scramble for those things and it's still not enough. That's a curse in the city. You look around, we stay in the, look, look at these apartment buildings. These aren't mansions. The Lord gave us many mansions. He gave us land. We used to live off of the land. We didn't want to follow God, guess what he did? He put us in slavery. So in the field, guess what we did? Guess how we were cursed in the field? How were we cursed in the field? Getting beat. Well, how else were we cursed in the field? My brother, come on. We was working for what? For free. What were we doing in the fields working for free? Because we're talking about how we were cursed in the city, which is still applying today, and how we were cursed in the field, which was a curse from back in the day. You know we're still cursed in the field today, right? The Mexicans picking oranges for cheap. Bring it up! Right? Chiquita bananas, strawberry fields. Our people do those jobs. What were we doing in the field? How? He said for free. She said we were working. But what were we doing? What type of work? Picking cotton. Picking cotton. Everybody know that. The Lord said that was going to be your fate because you didn't keep his commandment. What we're doing today is we're teaching our people how to come back to God. We fell so far away from God because we believe in this doctrine. You know, this man, he pushes homosexuality. And he tried to hold our Bible to teach out of. We told our people that church and Bible are two different things. We also told our people today that in order to get sustaining peace, your mind has to be stayed on the Lord. Meaning you have to keep God first and foremost. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.